Hello and welcome to the world of Matthias. Welcome to the second video in uh, the series of this greenie and my upgrades on it. I'm very excited about today because we are going to do something that I have been wanting to do for a long time. We are going to do the Peter Green mod on this guitar. But we are going to do it two times. We are going to do it on the pickups that came with the guitar from the beginning. In case you don't want to swap your pickup when you get it. And we are going to change uh, the pickups to this uh, Tone Rider uh, Alnico 4. And we're going to do the mod on that pickup as well. All right. In the end of this video, you're going to get four different sound examples. Uh, one with uh, the stock pickup and one with the stock pickup with a, the with a mod. And uh, one with a Tone Rider as it is. And one with a Tone Rider when it's modded. So yeah, that's what we're going to do today. We are also going to do some relicking because this is an old guitar and it should look old. If you're buying a replica of a greenie, then you have to do it all the way. That's my preference and you don't have to agree. That's totally fine. But uh, I want to relic this. And, and as I said before, I always do my relicking. I keep the back door open. So if I want to double back and get it as stock as it was from the beginning, then that's no issues. That's what I'm going to do today. So hope you have fun and uh, let's uh, begin. Now, I have only been doing this channel for about uh, four months. And in that time, I've come to know some of you and I've come to know the Shipson community. And I really love talking to you and uh, get your opinions and get your insights into these guitars. I really would like to go on doing this channel. However, I am uh, in it with my own money. So there's, of course, a limit to how much I can do. Most of you that are looking on my videos uh, aren't subscribed yet. So uh, I ask you, please consider subscribing. It's a small thing for you, but it's a very big thing for me. I would be most grateful. And with that said, on with the video. And the first step is, as usual, to take off the strings and these are the stock strings so I'm going to remove them all together I'm going to cut them up and I'm going to change out the strings on this guitar and there you go so uh, this tailpiece and this bridge are going to be relict and also these parts I'm going to relic them and some of these are nickel. This is a nickel bridge. And it's already from the beginning a little bit relict. Uh, and some of the parts are chrome. So they're going to age a little bit different. And I'm going to have to have them in the muriatic acid a different amount of time. We can look at this tailpiece and it's totally unmarked. This bridge is marked B2. This was not stock on the guitar. I have ordered this from AliExpress to all of my guitars actually because I, I really like the style of this. There will be a link in the description. Yeah, okay, so let's remove these pickups. And as you can see, I have already flipped this uh, pickup. You either have to flip the magnet or you have to flip uh, the electronic leads to get it out of face with the other uh, pickup. And in Peter Green's case, you flip the magnet, not the electrical uh, wires. And in case you are wondering, these pickup rings, they are from all parts. I think the color of these are much nicer, so that's why I changed them. They are also a little bit uh, smaller than the stock ones. But they uh, covered the cavities here, so that was no problem. All right, so I have taken out this uh, uh, neck pickup, and we're going to do the mod on this uh, stock pickup first. So let's just unsolder this. And so what you do, what you want to do on this, you want to take out the magnet, and you want to flip it 100, uh, 180 degrees. You just have to undo these magnet poles here. You don't have to take them out all the way, but just undo them and this pickup is full, is full of wax you can see here the wax and you also have to loosen these and then you can push out the magnet like so like this and I think actually these magnets, they are polarized like this, that you have a north-south 
here and you have a south side here. You don't have a north side here and a south side here. So what you can do, you can actually flip it like this, 180 degrees, but you can actually flip it like this as well. But I'm just going to do it like this. And then you just put it in where you got it from, like so. Now you can put it back together. And there are tons of videos showing you how to do this on YouTube. So now you have reversed the magnets in this uh, pickup and now it should sound a little bit different. And I know that the Peter Green uh, guitar has the screws here, but that that doesn't matter. You can have it like that if you think that looks nicer. But I'm going to put it like this, just because uh, that's the way it should be on a replica, I think. Uh, so the bridge pickup measures 14.1 in the middle position. It's uh, 5.0 and uh, on the neck position it's 7.9 and all of these are going to get relict. I'm going to put them in a muriatic acid bathe and uh, I'm going to give it maybe overnight we will see I'm going to check them from time to time. Okay so I covered this uh, process in another video so I'm just going to go through the steps uh, quick in this one. So firstly take off your hat Put on the mask. This is very important. You can take off the glasses as well. And it's very important that it's not just a dust uh, filter on this one. You have to have a chemical filter as well. As well. All right. And there we go. And what you do is you take your muriatic acid, you put it in this container, and then you take some smaller containers some small containers like this one and you put in what you want to have relict and then you put these small containers inside the bigger one and then you close the lid and make sure it's tight and it's sealed and now you can take off the mask Okay, so now we have reached the halfway point and now we're going to put in the Tone Rider pickups. I'm going to put them in stock and they give you a sound example. Then I'm going to remove the neck pickup and I'm going to do the, the green mod on it. And then I will give you a sound comparison to the original setup. And I will also change the ports here. These are the CTS ports that I'm going to be putting in this greenie. Now I had a request from one of my viewers, Elvis Pretzel, and he asked me to give you my view on this whole pot thing. Before I get into this, I just want to say that it's all about personal preferences. And I will give you my preferences. It may not suit all. Now we can take it from the beginning. And the first obvious uh, difference that you can find on pots, that there are big ones and there are small ones. In contrary to what some say, it doesn't have to be a quality difference between these two. There are uh, small pots that are just as good as the big pots. The problem with small pots, I find, because they are smaller, they can be harder to adjust. Just because when you turn this bigger pot, it has a bigger circumference and that will make this easier to dial in. And the small pots are actually a little bit harder to do that but there is nothing wrong with a good quality mini pot. So you can use a mini pot if you are in a very tight place uh, on a custom build or something like that. And that's totally fine. But in the Les Paul case, 
I like to use the big pots just because they are easier to dial in. Now the other big difference that you will find in these pots are uh, you have an A version and you have a B version. Now the A version is uh, the audio variant of them and the B version is a linear pot. When you turn it, it will send the signal through the pot uh, in a linear way. So it goes uh, from zero to a hundred like that. If you use a B pot on a volume control, then it feels like you, it won't do anything. Then everything happens between uh, nine and 10. And that's fine for a tone control. The A version, that's a audio taper. So that's a tapered pot. So when you turn it up, it doesn't go from zero and in a straight line up to 100. It goes like this. And that gives you the sense that when you turn it to raise the volume, you have more control over the whole register. And that's why the most common pot to control the volume is a A500K pot. Many people use the A pot for the tones as well, and that's perfectly fine. You can do that, absolutely. Then you get a tapered signal. You can control the tone a little bit more. So I like to use the most common setup, and that's A pots for the volume and B pots for the tone. But if you are one of these guys that always has these controls on uh, 10, then it doesn't matter if you have A or B. Uh, it won't make any difference whatsoever. So that's my take on pots. I hope that was of some use. And again, it's just my preferences. So you can do whatever you want with the pots. Just experiment with them and figure out what you think is best for you. Okay then, so uh, let's do this. Let's put in the Tone Rider and the new pots. Okay, so this is great. This is what you get in the Tone Rider pack. Uh, if you want to connect it on ordinary pots, you have a diagram up here. And you also have a diagram if you want to coil split. If you want to splitting to the slug coil, if you want to splitting to the screw coil, and if we want to have series or parallel wiring. This uh, shot is actually very good. I'm going to hold on to this. And of course, I want to measure the bridge pickup, and that's 8.2, and the neck pickup is 7.5. 7 I take it back, they are not the same. it's time to make the Peter Green mod on the Tone Rider pickup. You can see all the wax that is coming here, so it's clearly uh, wax potted. And also I can see that they have put wood here instead of plastic, these things, beside the magnet. You just have to loosen these screws, you don't have to take them out altogether. Now it should be just a matter of pushing it out. Be careful of the wires that run through here. Now as I pushed through the magnet, through the uh, pickup, I pushed it right through and uh, it actually came flying out the other side. So I lost track of which side was which. Now in this, this case I can actually see where it should be, but uh, I thought that maybe it would be a good thing for me to run through how you uh, found out what's the north side and what's the south side of a magnet so you can do this. All right, so let's do that. So what you do, you get a bowl of water, you uh, take a smaller container and you put it in the water and then you place it, the magnet, 
in the water and then the south side should uh, point to the north and the north side should point to the south and if you turn this around it will actually turn by itself again uh, so the south side uh, attracts the north and uh, vice versa so uh, so this uh, this point here is actually the south of the magnet so yeah that's a neat little trick that you can use if you don't know uh, what the polarities of your magnet is. Now, if you look at this shot that uh, Tone Rider provided, you can actually see here which is uh, the north and the south of the pickup. So yeah, it's just a matter of reversing that now. all for today uh, I hope you had fun watching this video with me I think it turned out really great actually you have the relic parts you have the tone rider pickups I think they sound amazing I consider this uh, guitar project uh, a success it plays really well and it sounds really good and with the good pots and uh, with the good pickups this guitar is uh, truly amazing and I would like to thank all of you that has been watching and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.